Please be seated. If we could have the children come up for children's message at this time. All right. I know last week we talked about uh, doctors. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Yes. Um, well, before that, good morning, kids. How are we doing? Good. 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 It's good to see everyone here today. And, you know, back to it. You know, when you go to the doctor, um, you know, and, and they always ask you. I don't know if the nurse ever asks you uh, when you talk about, uh, it's been a while since I've been to the doctor. But they always ask, you know, if you're hurting, they always ask from, from 1 to 10, 10 being, uh, being in the most pain, what, how do you feel, right? And a lot of times people might say 6 or 7 or 8. You know, 10 being very painful and 1 being, well, all is good. And today, you know, I bring you this scale. What does that say right there? 1 to 10. 1 to 10. Now, on the scale of 1 to 10, the question I have for you is how much does Jesus love you? 11. 11. <laughs> Anyone else? Ten being how much he loves you, one being that he doesn't love you at all. What would your number be? I heard eleven, I heard a thousand. Ten. Ten, I heard ten. Can we put a number on how much Jesus loves us? Is there a number? No. Is there? No. Now, how much does Jesus love you? It's like more than that, right? I mean, infinite is like forever, right? But it's even more than that. Now, how much? And where do we go to know how much Jesus loves us? We go to the cross. That's how much Jesus loves you. Not just looking at the cross, but Jesus hanging on the cross to die for your sins. You know, we can't die for our sins but it's only Jesus who has done that for us. And to say how much, you know, I say one to 10, I'm like 11, a thousand, an infinite, forever and ever number. Wow, to think about how much Jesus loves us, no one else can love us as much as he has for us. Because there by his work, how much he loves you, you are forgiven of all of your sins. Three days later, what did he do? He rose from the dead. Dead. You're catching on. Very good. <laughs> I do this at Bible study every time, and the adults, they, they know how to f finish my sentences as well now. So it's very good that you guys are doing that as well. Yeah, he rose from the dead, and he gives you victory and life that is forever, and that you are children of God. How much does the Lord love you? That's right. He loves you so much that he sent you his son Jesus to die and rise for you, to give you life, forgiveness, and salvation. That's how much. Who else can do that for you? No one. No one. No one. No one. Only Jesus. Let us pray. Dearly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you uh, for, for your grace and how much you love these children Bless them and keep them in your word and grant them comfort, knowing full well that by your love, you have forgiven them of all their sins. Lead them and guide them this day always in your name. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, before you go...